Hello, this is Chris Railroads, and welcome to your third Trains content creation tutorial with GMAX. And uh, in this tutorial, we will be covering basic shape creation. And uh, uh, I'm assuming that you've seen both tutorials and are, have properly set everything up according to uh, them. And uh, let's get started. Um, first, we're going to be working with uh, basic, uh, basic shapes, or standard primitives, as they're called in GMAX. Um, and those are the box, cone, sphere, cylinder, and um, we don't. I don't work with many of the other shapes. Um, so to start, take a box. To want to select the box, click and drag. Then when you release, you can choose the height, and that you just created your first shape in uh, GMAX right there, and. <coughs> Well, once you've created a shape, what you can do is you can go to the modifier panel, which I talked about before, and you can change specific settings. Like if I want this box to be eight feet square, I just set both all I set the uh, length, width, and height parameters to be eight, eight, and eight, which will which would give me a perfect cube. Now. Now that you've done that, we you can try it with um, a few other shapes. Um, the sphere, I, which is not a shape that you'll use very often, but what you can do is it takes a, a radius parameter and then a segment parameter, which segments are what definition the shape is broken down into. The more segments you are, the higher poly count the shape will have, which will cause... Um, which, it, it's just more defined. Like, if I were to take the segments and I were to set them to, uh, like, 16, like a low number like that, then the shape would start to get boxy if I were to get it, like, 8. It doesn't even look like a sphere. It doesn't even look like a sphere anymore. It looks like a, like, a, like a gem. If I were to set it to 4, it's a, it's a diamond. So, um, the higher the number is, the more spherical it will look, yet, but, um... You're also going to run into problems like what I just, like what you just saw. Next shape that we'll be talking about would be the cylinder, which I use quite often, uh, especially when making wheels and axles and everything. And it takes a radius parameter. It takes a height parameter, and it takes uh, segment parameters. Height segments are different, though. Um, it's br imagine it like you're stacking cylindrical blocks on top of each other, and when you're doing the height, then I want I this isn't 3ds I could show you but imagine it like there's since there's five height segments imagine that there's five cylinders with this radius uh, just stacked on top of each other to form this. And this comes in handy when you want uh, later on, but most of the time you're just going to want to have it set to 1. Then, for sides, the more sides you have, the more spherical it looks. Like, I could set it to 4 sides and it would be a, it'd be a diamond. Or I could set it to uh, 200 sides and it would be, like, crazy roundish looking. But, um, normally you're just going to want to use choose a number where it will still where it just starts to look kind of jagged and that will produce the best results when you're working with curved shapes the uh, next basic shape would be the plane which I use a lot and what it is is it's exactly what it looks like it's a it has no thickness at all and you can only see it from one direction and it's just perfectly flat, and it takes a lot of parameters, um, believe it or not. It's going to take different segments. Like, imagine this is a 4x4 four four grid. So th this is 16 individual segments, actually. But I could change it to a single individual segment, and it would still be the same shape. And then it takes height and width parameters, but does not... Well, lengthen with parameters, but it does not take a height parameter because it is it is uh, 
has no thickness at all. Now, that about wraps up the basic shapes that are used in uh, 3DS, and uh, if and please stay tuned for the next tutorial, and uh, I'll see you next time.